Hey everybody, Mike Bruner here. It's Friday. We got through another week. Might not have been the best of weeks, but I got through it. Um, so I'm doing another little slant and steel today. Um, I've made a bird nest up out of eastern red cedar bark and got some of that flax fiber. And then I've curled up some uh, fatwood shavings and put right in the center of it. Um, got my char cloth here. Everybody's been making char cloth this, this week on Chris on Chris's variety channel and uh, Harshman Hills. If y'all, I'm sure a lot of y'all are familiar with their channel. They've been making char cloth. And boy, it reminds me, I really need to get busy. I'm about out of char cloth. Everything I've got is about a year and a half old. I need to really make some good fresh char cloth. That makes it a lot easier. Um, but then I'm going to use that uh, steel that I showed in my own video or last week in my Fired Up Friday. Uh, I'm going to use that again. We're down here today in the shelter house at the forestry. And it's a little darker in here, and I'm sure you'll be able to see it a lot better. But just for a little, little bitty fire steel like this, I want you everybody to see how good it sparks it throws. It works great for a small steel. I'm really impressed with it, actually. So, uh, we'll quit talking here and we'll see if we can actually get a fire started with it. There it is. I don't know if you can see that ember on there or not. I'm gonna put it on there, another piece of char cloth on there with it. But we got her burning good there. Put in this bird's nest. Let's see if we can get this thing blown into flame. it is folks a lot of people out here say they struggle with flint and steel it's really simple just a little bit of practice having good dry material for your uh, bird's nest um, don't be afraid to experiment with it with a few different fibers and add a little bit of flint or uh, fat wood in there with it that'll help it burn a little better um, do what works for you Experimenting with what you got in your area is the best way to do it. Uh, flint and steel is probably my favorite way. Well, actually, it is my favorite way to start a fire. Uh, it's the most self rewarding, I, I, I say. But, uh, you know, years ago, you didn't have that big lighter. And it's good to know that you can rely on yourself and, and actually be able to build that fire without, without that big lighter. And, uh, I've always enjoyed flint and steel, been fascinated with it. Uh, main thing is having good char cloth. And what I've been using is getting old. It's not as ignitable as it is when it's fresh. Um, so just remember, good char cloth is number one too. Um, some material works better than others. T-shirt material works great but I like it a little bit thicker. If you got a good old worn out pair of jeans, not a newer, thicker pair, but a pair that's kind of worn down real good, that's what I like to use. Whatever you do make your char cloth with, you just want to make sure it's 100% cotton. Polyester will just melt in your tin and make a big mess. Um, there's nothing to it really. Hold your flint at a 45 degree angle. Make sure you get good sharp edges on it. And if you don't have good sharp edges, get you another piece. Or if you need to take and break the piece that you got, you can look up a uh, spalling flint and learn how to spall it off of bigger chunks. Or um, take and uh, just break the edges on that, on the piece that you got and try to make them sharper. But like I said, that's, that's all it takes right there to make a fire. This little steel here, it's small, but I'm really impressed with it. For, as you can see, it does 
it sparks well. It's made out of an old file. Um, it's got a good wide strike face on it, but it's only about that long, the strike face itself. So, I mean, if it was a little longer, it would be an awesome steel. Where there's nothing wrong with it the way it is. That's all you need to make a fire. So, like I said, if you have trouble with flint and steel, um, experiment with different cloths to make your char material with. Um, make sure you got some good chert or flint. This is what I've always known in our area. It's called wine dot chert. It's flint. Um, but that's what I've always heard it called as wine dot chert in our area here in southern Indiana. Them were the kind of more prominent Indians that we had in this area back in the day was the wine dots. Um, like I said, I usually find my flint down on the river banks or in the in the dry wash gullies uh, around this area where they've actually was uh, spalling their flint out out of nodules and uh, this is a lot of little shards like this. Of course I find a lot of bigger pieces too. Um, in your nodules you'll find pieces that they call your flint nappers, they'll call it concrete in them where the flint don't like to flake off. It just shatters and fractures and they'll call that concrete in a, in a nodule. And uh, you find big chunks that's like that. But you just take and break them up, get, get your pieces with your sharp edges. Um, and if you don't have it native to your area, you can always order it offline. But uh, you just want to hold it at a 45 degree angle. Take your char cloth, kind of rip it, get some threads exposed, and hold it right on that edge of that flint. And then hold it, like I said, at about a 45 degree angle. And uh, it don't take but one little bitty spark. Where a lot of people gets confused, they think it's the flint that throws the spark. It's actually shavings of the steel coming off there. You gotta have the right speed when you're striking it. And um, that's actually shaving little balls of steel off there and, that, and the speed that you're hitting it with or the friction that it comes off there with, that's what's actually burning those little chunks of the metal. It's not the flint that does it. The flint's just harder than the steel is. And uh, like I said, just do some experimenting with the tenders that you got to make a bird nest with, your char material. Don't be afraid to try different materials. Um, like I said, worn out jeans is what I've found is best or the thinner type jeans, not the thicker ones. Um, T-shirt works good, but I like it a little bit heavier than that. And um, just do some playing around with it. Actually, look at that. That's the piece of the char cloth still lit inside that. Um, and your fresher char cloth is going to work much better than your older stuff. So, like I said, I hope you can get some information out of that that will help you. Um, appreciate y'all watching today. Hope y'all have a good weekend. It's been a nice day today here in southern Indiana. It's been probably... High 50s, low 60s. I had a frost last night. We got another frost advisory again tonight. This is my time of year right here. Wish we was out camping tonight, actually. So, everybody get out and enjoy your weekend. Take care and God bless.